Hello everyone and a heartfelt welcome to this channel. If you're new here, I extend a warm greeting to you. My name is Carl and I'm honored to share this space with you. I'm a vocalist, reactor, wordsmith and aspiring movie reviewer. And today our focus is on something dear to my heart, a vocal analysis and reaction to Chakra Khan's rendition of Chris Stapleton's timeless masterpiece, Tennessee Whiskey. Now this song holds a very special place for me and I've immersed myself in its depths countless times. And Chris Stapleton's talent as a singer is truly remarkable. So if you're gonna be covering his song, you gotta be special. Now this channel is dedicated to celebrating the profound beauty inherent in the intricate craft of vocal performance and music. It is a sanctuary where we delve into the narratives and emotions encapsulated within each melody. So if that is something you're into, I warmly invite you to embark on this journey of appreciation and exploration through the enchanting realm of music. Your engagement through likes, subscriptions and comments on this video is deeply appreciated. And if you happen to find value in what you learn or if my content enhances your enjoyment of music, I humbly ask you to consider supporting me on Patreon with contributions starting as little as $1 per month. The link can be found in the description below. Thank you for considering it and a huge, a massive, massive thank you to all my existing patrons as well. Love you guys, you're the best. All right, that's enough out of me. Let's dive straight into it. All right, let's go. Listen, never let your class empty. <laughs> you drive. Drink responsibly, though. Ooh, uh, before he actually starts singing, a reminder that this is a vocal analysis and a reaction. So the vocal analysis side means that I will have to pause the video just to figure out what he's doing vocally and I'm gonna share that with you. If you wanna to listen to the original song, the link for that will be in the description below, and then come back here and watch the reaction and vocal analysis. That way you can learn more about what Chakra Khan is doing. Also, I have done a reaction to Chakra Khan before, and that was his cover of Iris by Goo Goo Dolls. That will be in the end screen of this video. Okay, but I want to share with you a little bit about the history of the song, when it was written, and just a brief bio on it. I am a bit of a music nerd, so I do know this. It was November 2015 where Chris Stapleton's performance at the 49th Annual CMA Awards catapulted him into stardom, and his rendition of Tennessee Whiskey alongside I think it was Justin Timberlake, that led to a surge in popularity for the song, which was originally written by Dean Dillon and Linda Hargrove in 1981, believe it or not. And despite being initially rejected by George Strait, the song found success with David Allen Coe and later George Jones, reaching number two on the Hot Country singles chart. Stapleton's version, however, achieved unparalleled success with his album Traveller and Tennessee Whiskey soaring to the top of the charts. So since its release, Tennessee Whiskey has received multiple platinum certifications and it's culminated in diamond status by I think it was December 2021. So Stapleton's soulful rendition has made the song a modern country music standard resonating with audiences far beyond the genre's borders. So despite never being officially released as a single, the song itself was nothing short of a masterpiece. All right, now, take it away, Chakra. I used to spend my nights out in a ballroom Liga was the only love I know. Mm. Hot damn. That voice. That voice. Oh my gosh. 
the distinct raspiness and grit that is so evident in Chakra Khan's voice never fails to astonish me. And this is my second reaction to him. And it's a unique vocal quality that is achieved through intricate physiological mechanisms within his vocal folds. So, where intentional irregularities in vibration create the desired texture that we see here. So by skillfully manipulating tension and resonance in his vocal mechanism, Chakra Khan enhances these qualities and it adds depth and character to his timbre, which is pretty much the vocal fingerprint. Moreover, Chakra Khan's tone in this performance is truly remarkable, reflecting a perfect blend of technical precision and emotional depth. His vocal delivery exudes warmth, richness, clarity, and it demonstrates a profound understanding of tone production and expression. So, there's something else. Okay, let's keep it going. This is going to be a good one, I can tell. But when you rescue me from reaching for the bottom mm. And drown me back from being too far gone I'm noticing a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'm observing that he is ending each phrase, not every phrase, but some phrases with a resonant vibrato-like hum. It appears that there may be some manipulation of the microphone's effects, considering this seems to be a live performance that may not be the case. Although, it could simply just be natural vocal ability that he has. Nevertheless, he's an impressive singer, and it's such a captivating performance. I'm going to pause it there. First things first, he is absolutely acing this cover thus far. Notably, he seamlessly incorporates a rift on the word sweet. It was subtle, almost imperceivable. Sweet. But undeniably present. Now, the significance of adding tasteful riffs and runs to a cover lies in personalizing the song and highlighting one's individuality. And he's a very unique singing individual. Now, what's approaching is the pivotal riff on the word warm and in covering the song mastering this particular riff is essential especially those who know it well okay i'm excited let's see if he does it nailed it. He absolutely nailed it. Personally, I'm not a fan when singers try to cover this song and they choose to do something different on that riff. But when you nail it exactly like how you're supposed to, perfect. Now, if I may nerd out slightly, in the realm of vocal prowess, Chakra Khan's performance consistently stands out as a paragon of excellence and we're only well, a minute 43 in. He not only demonstrates technical mastery, but also embodies a profound emotional resonance that captivates audience worldwide. I wonder how many followers he has. If there were an accolade for the coolest voice ever, Dude will be winning it every single time. He has such an unparalleled charisma and distinctively compelling timbre. Absolutely love it. All right, let's keep it going. And I look for love in all the simple places. There it is again. Yeah, yeah. But I'm over, but I always try. Nice. Ooh, bass. But when you pour out your heart, I didn't waste it. No, I won't. 
so so good and the musicians in the background they're definitely having fun something else that i'm also noticing is the precision and accuracy of everyone's intonation it's truly remarkable it's a testament to the exceptional talent and professionalism now while the use of in-ear monitors may be putting a click track through their ears it's still remarkable it's evident that each performer has honed their craft to an extraordinary level now the harmonious blend of voice with instrument and everyone is perfectly on key it creates a truly marvelous auditory experience and i am here for it yes cuz there's nothing like your love to get me high That was so awesome. That was so awesome. I'm so excited. I'm happy. Okay, so that jazzy or bluesy run was a very pleasant surprise. Chakra extended it beyond what was expected, and it demonstrates a lot of creativity and spontaneity given that this is live. Now, his ability to explore different melodic parts while staying in control shows a huge amount of artistry and moments like these highlight the excitement of live music where artists can push boundaries and take listeners on an unexpected journey and chakra is doing that beautifully oh this is good i'm i'm loving this Something I noticed, did you take a look at his mouth, his head, his neck, his whole body? Okay, so observing Chakra Khan's mouth position during that run reveals crucial insights into the nuances of vocal technique and sound production. <laughs> Variations in mouth position, I've spoken about this before. It can significantly impact the resonance and timbre of the voice, leading to alterations in texture and feel perceptible to the ear. Now throughout that run, Chakra Khan's mouth undergoes dynamic adjustments, likely in response to the changing pitch and intensity of the vocal line. Now, these adjustments influence the shaping of the vocal track, affecting the distribution and amplification of sound frequencies. So as a result, each alteration in mouth position imparts a distinct character to the vocal tone, contributing to the overall texture and feel of the performance. So really good mastery of dynamics. Hey, They're just a bunch of guys having fun. And at the end of the day, as a musician, if you aren't loving what you're doing, then you're doing it wrong. It's also intriguing to note that Chakra Khan's speaking voice bears similarities to his singing voice. Not much, but there are some. Additionally, he possesses a natural tenor vocal range, actually, despite his innate ability to produce growly and gritty sounds, which I've heard some people say that he is a bass because of it, but his voice actually aligns more with the tenor classification to my ears. Furthermore, his vocal range extends unusually high, and I've heard him go up to a whistle register in his vocal capabilities. Now that's a very unique combination of vocal qualities, and it adds depth and versatility to his vocal performances. And it allows him to explore a wide range of textures and expressions across different musical styles. Very, very good singer, essentially. <laughs> the 
guitar coming in. Oh, yes. Okay, I want to. Oh, you know what? No, hold on, hold on. Let's let's just keep it going. Let's let's keep it going. These guys are having so much fun and that was a phenomenal performance guys wow just just like wow 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 well what we just witnessed ladies and gentlemen was a full-on chest belt reaching up to the tenor high c while maintaining connection to that gritty and raspy quality now it happened a little bit before i stopped but it's so remarkable, it's worth mentioning. And this display of vocal prowess and control is nothing short of astonishing. The ability to blend power, range, and texture in such a seamless manner is awe-inspiring. So let's have some final thoughts. Shakur Khan is truly one of a kind. His voice is unique, he blends grit, emotion, and power in a way that grabs your attention, he's really unique, and he can sing across different styles effortlessly, from soulful ballads to powerful anthems. But it's not just his voice, it's his passion for music and his dedication to excellence that make him stand out. And he's just having fun. He's more than just a singer. He's an artist who leaves a lasting impression on everyone who hears him. Really, really impressive. Give credit where credit is due, subscribe to his channel and folks thank you for tuning in to this epic performance by Shaka Khan if you enjoyed my reaction and analysis show some love by hitting the like button subscribing to this channel and sharing this video on your social media and don't forget for exclusive content and to support my creative journey consider becoming a patron your support keeps the song playing and I appreciate every single one of you. Until next time, be kind, be loving, be gentle to one another and help each other out when you can. Take care everyone. Cheers.